over a decade, I've always approached motion design from a graphic design perspective. So I'm gonna share with you five design principles that I follow to capture attention and to easily produce professional level work in After Effects. The first thing you should do when you start your scene is to lay out any typography that you have. And your font choice is very important. These are my three go-to fonts that work for pretty much everything that I do. So feel free to use Gotham, Monstera, or Poppins uh, for your next project. When I'm adding multiple words as part of a same group, one thing I like to do is type them out all together. And the reason why I wanna do this is because of the leading parameter, which will allow me to evenly separate the words by line and keeping them on the same title block will make animation a lot easier moving forward. So the next design tip we have to talk about is hierarchy when it comes to your titles. So these titles are not fun to read whatsoever because everything here is the same. Our job is to guide our viewers' eyes and we do this through hierarchy. So for example, I can grab the bottom three titles here and make them smaller. And to keep the hierarchy going, we can select other words and make them even smaller than our previous ones. And if you use any of these typefaces, you can easily change the font so we can make this even more readable. So it's much easier to navigate the typography we've laid out because we now have hierarchy to what is going to be read. So a third and very important tip to understand is layout. This is where you want to get all your graphics and titles and put it in position to look amazing. So the first thing I do when working with layout is I turn on the title action safe. This is my format for creating structure and we'll use this as a guide to frame our graphics. Then I usually go to the align tab and I experiment with different alignments. So first thing I'll usually do is center this up kind of get an idea of how that looks. I can also go to the paragraph window, see how this looks centered aligned. And this is where things become a little bit more subjective, but my rule of thumb is, is when I have multiple titles, I don't want this to be centered like this. I usually want to do left alignments. And then I'll usually align this over to the edge of our composition. And I might do that for other titles as well. And this way it's much easier to read all these words because we read from left to right. And when you have to lay out multiple graphics, the key word here to think about is balance. My goal is to make sense of the layout and how these extra graphics can tie into what's already been placed. So maybe I want to put these quotes up here in the left corner. I'll grab this cube graphic, maybe put it on top of my title. And then maybe I can spread out these other graphics. So maybe I'll put one right here. And then this pen icon, maybe I'll put over here in the other corner to balance out this title right here, for example. And it's probably obvious at this point, but these extra graphics that I've laid out have some level of alignment with the titles that I placed previously. So looking for ways to create alignment is a great layout strategy. So since we have all these titles in the single block, animation is so easy. We can just open up our title layer, go to animate, and just add any of these properties here. I'll add a position and I'll bring the Y position down so we can animate our titles up. And then I'll go to add, go to property and add opacity, set the opacity to 0%. Then I'll open the range selector and I'll add a keyframe for start move forward in time, maybe by a second or two and set it up to 100%. This title will animate in by the letters. I can go to the advanced tab and set it to words. So I'll animate in by words instead. And one of my favorite animation concepts is to grab all the keyframes here, hit F9 on your keyboard, go to the graph editor and just kind of smooth out these handles so we can create a unique animation. So, you know, that looks really cool. And then I can just copy the animator, paste it to other titles that we have. So I could paste it right here if I wanted to offset it in my timeline and then I can animate my other graphics as I see fit and we have a really cool and clean composition that no one would be mad over well other than those difficult clients but you know they don't know what they want <laughs> design is one of my favorite aspects of creating content but perhaps you don't have the patience or the time for it to give you a head start we have a full 750 plus motion graphics pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro you can browse templates using our extension panel and apply them with a single click then you can change the parameters and you're done. You can also get your hands on our free duck pack with the links in the description below. Our templates are our equivalent of a Patreon. So if you pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. So without any effort, this looks really good by itself because we have the ultimate color contrast of black and white. We, we cannot increase that contrast anymore. Even if we were to invert the colors, this would still look really good because we have dark graphics on a bright background or we have bright graphics on a dark background. And if I were to implement this gradient, which has a mixture of dark and brighter colors, this would still look pretty good because we have thick text, clean layout, and great graphics. And also we have the balance of bright and dark together, which helps. But if I was gonna go a little bit crazy and implemented a bright, hot pink background, this hurts my eyes because the entire background is really bright with our bright graphics. So if your entire background is gonna be one color, I would suggest toning it down to more of a mid-level solid color so this will be a lot easier to look at. So by following all these design principles, your job as a designer becomes so much easier, especially when you have to composite on top of video or use other types of graphics. <laughs>